Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am explaining you about one of an important update that AAPC have introduced in 2023 about the CPC exam. It is not only applicable for CPC exam, it is applicable for all exam that AAPC is conducting, all certification exam. So, I will move into the details. An update is from 2023, effective from January 2023, CPC exam will be a no offline paper mode answering, which means there will be an electronic examination with the pro proctor's guidance. Okay, so when you hear this, you will be having so many doubts. So, will there be a home only examination and uh, will there be an examination center? I will clear all that doubt. But before that, I have to tell you one thing that you have to understand the fact that AAPC have introduced this method not to make your tense, not to make your exam difficulty more difficult. It is only to make you more comfortable and for getting you more chance and all. Okay, that you have to understand first. So, no need to be worried about this new method of examination. Okay, so first of all, I will tell you some points for which there is no change from 2022 to 2023. Okay, this includes the number of questions, which is 100, which is same as that of the previous year, 2022. The total number of questions is 100 itself. Then the duration of examination it is also same. The four hours examination is same as that of the previous 2022 itself. Then there is no negative markings. Okay, all these are same only. Then what is this new examination online method with the proctor's guidance means you have to select the examination center same as the previous um, previous years. One, once you are scheduling an exam means you have to select the examination center. Uh, then you have to pay the fee and all. Then once uh, on your examination center, you will have a system with the proper internet connection and you have to do your examination online. Okay, there will be a proctor for you to guide in the examination hall. Uh, you, you will be a totally 5 to 10 students in a single examination hall. And each one of you will be having an ind individual uh, system as well as internet connection. Then the next doubt will be regarding the books. Books also is same as that of the previous year's rules. That is, if you are within India, you, you need not have to carry the books. The books will be provided from your examination center then uh, the latest edition 2023 and if you are outside India means you have to rent out the books and you have to carry out your own 2023 books okay of attempts and the fee this also have some difference from the previous year uh, we know previously we followed only one method a single payment where you get two attempts Right, even if you fail the first attempt, you can go for a second attempt. That was what we followed previously. But from January onwards, you will have another option where you can either select one attempt or you can select two attempt. Okay, single attempt or two attempt. Uh, the difference is in the fee structure itself. For a single attempt, the cost is for $30, that is around 35,000K plus a membership fee. But it is a single attempt. So, in case if you fail in the single attempt means you won't get any another attempt. If you want an another attempt means again you have to pay the fee. Okay. So, if you are confident enough that you will pass on the first attempt means you can opt for this method. Okay. The second one is a two attempt where when, once you pay a fee, you have two chance. So, that even if you fail in the first attempt, again you can uh, write the exam once again without paying fee additionally okay so the payment the fee for the two attempt is 530 dollar which is around 43,000 K plus membership fee okay so that is the um, that is regarding the number of attempts and fee there is lot of advantages for the new electronic method with the proctor's guidance so I'll tell you what all are they the first is that the important difficulty that we were faced during the selection of examination date was the difficulty in getting slot itself because previously uh, we had only two to three to and it was later increased maximum six 
days exams in a month right but according to the new method there is examination the examination will be conducted every day in a week except sunday okay that too you will uh, there will be a morning exam and also another batch afternoon exam okay so each day two examination and also six days a week exam will be there okay so the number of exam is increased and also the number of examination center is also increased uh, previously it was around 6 to 7 in india and it is going to increase to around 30 in india okay if you take the case of kerala itself it was previously a single center which is going to increase to three centers okay so the number of examination centers is almost tripled okay so with these uh, increase in examination days as well as increase in examination center there is no point of telling that i am not getting slot so that is eradicated okay so that is this itself is the biggest advantage advantage and you have some more advantages you will have a timer on screen which is set to 4 hours and it will be reduced to up to until zero so that you will you will be in an alert that this much time is remaining for you this much time is remaining for you no need to look at your watch in between okay so there will be a stop watch timer on the screen then the next next one is there is no tension of bubbling errors we know that if you have a omr sheet means first you have to bubble all your personal details with which itself is, is a tension for you because we already have examination tension before that you have to do this bubbling and errors all right so there is no tension for that because here there is no omr sheets and bubbling you just need enter your examination uh, sorry your apc id as well as your name is all your details will be there in the system okay then also there is no chance of getting wrong answers of bubbling okay that is also eliminated then the last one is the faster publication of results we know that previously when we write the offline examination means it will minimum it will get uh, it will take two weeks to 20 days to get the results to be published right but in the online mode it will be very faster like it will be even five to ten days to publish the results and it will be much quicker in the future okay tell you how to answer online how to answer means not your icd cpt codes i will just tell you um, how to do next previous like that okay so first after you um, once you start your examination your first question will be there then read the question thoroughly uh, then mark your answer your options will be there the mark your answer then after doing one question there will be a next option so that you can go to the next question then uh, in between if you want to the previous if you want to go to previous question means there will be a previous option also you can do that then once you go to a question and if you don't know that answer means we know that we don't have to spend too much time in unknown questions right that you have to keep it for the end so what you have to do is there, there will be a flag symbol okay so you can click in the flag symbol so that this will be marked as an unattempted question so that you can do it later okay then uh, after doing all the question at the end you need to press the submit button so that your answers will be submitted sure of online exam is what you are all worried when it was informed that it was going to be online is we practice the manner that after reading a question we have to underline the important points or keywords right how we will do that in online that you you may be having a question in your mind we have solution for that also that if you want to highlight a keyword or particular point means you can just go to that particular word and press the right click right click button on your mouse okay then that word will be highlighted okay in, in that way you can highlight the keyword so there is no tension of marking the keywords that is also possible in, in your online method also what all are the things to carry to the examination hall we want to carry two original id proofs where your proper address and name should be there it can be one among the two it can be your aadhar card your pan card or your passport your voter's id or driving license the point is that it should be the original one 
okay then if you want to carry water means you, you can carry water in a transparent bottle uh, previously we used to carry chocolates etc uh, because we know that it's a four hours exam and uh, we should not feel sleepy in between uh, you can carry if, if it is not allowed means you should keep it outside i don't know properly then things you should not take to the examination hall includes mobile phone and all other electronic gadgets including your smartphone okay smart watch okay then next there is no need of pencil which we were we used to carry previously because now it is a proper online method so there is no need of pencil pen paper etc then all your personal belongings including your phone should be placed outside sometimes you may have a locker you have to keep inside that informative video for all who are going to attend the cpc exam all the very best and thank you